Today we are going to be breaking down these 40 day aged whiskey soaked ribeyes. First we are going to remove the pellicle that is the outside crust layer. Great marbling, not a lot of waste there. So with dry aging, there's clearly a ton of waste. The room that we age in is kept at 80% humidity to try to keep this waste to a minimum. It's also held at 36 degrees Fahrenheit. And it has constant airflow on it. So even with those parameters, we still have this amount of waste. It ends up being about 25%, 30% from the original starting weight. So we can also cut these into steaks and then trim them up, but we always think this is a little bit more satisfying to watch. side. So this side isn't as much waste as what we just removed because if you were to cut this into a prime rib roast we would remove these little pieces that we call rib fingers anyway. So the back side doesn't have as much waste. looks good to cut into steaks now. Any extra trimming we can do after they're cut into steaks. We make these whiskey dry aged steaks by wrapping this entire loin in cheesecloth and then we pour whiskey on it. We repeat that process every couple of days for two weeks. Then we unwrap the cheesecloth and let it traditionally age all the way out to this 40 day mark. So just going forward a little bit into the loin and then we'll do some final trim. We'll show you what they look like at the end here. So starting with a piece that looks like this, after trimming everything up, we're left with these gorgeous steaks right here. 40 day whiskey aged prime ribeyes.